Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the role of the T lymphocytes in transplant rejection. So let's not waste any time and get started. This is going to be one of the more interesting and one of the more important videos in this playlist with regards to transplantation immunology. So alloantigens from the graft tissue, obviously, are going to be presented by the MHC class 1 that are present on their cells to the T cells of the recipient. All right, and this is going to be triggering a strong immune response. Naturally, we know that well in the presence of a graft, and when we detect them, there's going to be a response, and usually it's strong. As a result of this, T helper cells are going to be releasing cytokines that like the interleukin 2, the interferon gamma, and the TNF beta, and the TNF alpha, obvious uh, also. And these are going to be discussed in the next slide. And the cytotoxic T cells, which are the CD8 uh, plus uh, cells, are going to be damaging the graft. Tissue. Now, speaking of these cytokines, let's understand what they do one by one. First of all, we've got the interleukin-2. The interleukin-2 are going to be activating the cytotoxic T cells. The interfering gamma, they're going to be activation, uh, going to be leading to the activation and the accumulation of macrophages in the grafted tissue, as well as the increase in the expression of the MHC class 2 on allograft cells. Recall that the MHC class 2 is very important when it comes to natural killer cell presenting. Now, TNF-alpha, it is cytotoxic to the graft. The TNF-beta increases the expression of the MHC class 1 on allograft cells, which is going to be helping in the cytotoxic T cell recognition. Also, all these cytokines are going to be amplifying the rejection process. So, this concludes our episode of, uh, this concludes today's episode of Transplantation Immunology. There are many more videos in the playlist. I'd like to thank all of you guys for watching. This has been Ali from B-Biology.